What's better in the morning than waking up to overnight French toast casserole straight out of the oven? Hey guys, it's Julie from juliesEatsAndTreats.com and today we're going to make overnight French toast casserole and it has a secret ingredient that makes it the best French toast casserole ever. When I was a child, I remember every Sunday morning mom making me breakfast, waking up to the smell wafting through the house and knowing it was time to head upstairs. Now it's my time to do this for my kids. I love spoiling them in the mornings and yet getting my beauty sleep. The first thing you want to do is grab a 9 by 13 pan and give it a spray of non-stick spray. Next, take your loaf of bread. I prefer a sourdough so it's hearty and holds up to being soaked in the egg mixture. And then you just want to tear it apart and put it in your casserole dish you just sprayed with nonstick spray. Next, grab a mixing bowl and you'll want to crack your eggs in there, add the milk, heavy whipping cream, cake mix, which is your secret ingredient, vanilla, and cinnamon. Whisk it up until combined. Then you want to pour this mixture over the bread in your casserole dish. Now you want to take your aluminum foil, cover your casserole dish or grab the top to your casserole dish and then pop it in the fridge for several hours or overnight. In a small mixing bowl you want to combine your topping ingredients next. Grab your flour brown sugar, cinnamon, and salt, and combine until mixed. Then add your butter and mix until it all comes together. Stick it in the fridge until you're ready to make your French toast casserole. When you're ready to make your French toast casserole, you'll wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then remove your French toast casserole from the fridge and top with the topping you already made. After that, you'll just pop it in the oven and bake it for one hour or until the middle is set and cooked through. Remove it from the oven, grab your syrup, your berries, and some whipped cream, top it, and dig in. You have the perfect easy breakfast that looks like you slaved away on it for hours, but really, you snuck in all the sleep you could. You can visit me on juliesEatsAndTreats.com for the full recipe.